Hello there, everyone. My name's Ayumu, and I wanted to give my thoughts on the remaster of the Dark Souls... Well, Dark Souls Remaster. It's the first Dark Souls game. Uh, so I'm just going to have some gameplay up in the background as I talk about it. Um, so, with the remaster, uh, talk about the things I've seen different on it. Kind of nothing. There's <clears throat> password protection um, when it comes down to, uh, you know, playing with friends. Uh, so that's awesome. And the password might... Because uh, I have I have been playing this with one of my friends that I'm playing on stream. This is the PS4 version of the game uh, being played on a regular PS4, not a PS4 Pro. Games run fine the entire time. Uh, the load times have been good, uh, and it's I've, I've had no problems. So, I haven't seen anything, you know, glaringly wrong with it. The one thing I will say is uh, that uh, a couple times I've had some disconnection stuff, but that could have been between me and the person I was playing with, so I don't want to blame the game for it, uh, directly. Um, so, but besides that, uh, it's, it's run perfectly fine. Uh, I've gotten into the more, in, or gotten into, uh, even Blight Town, the thing that killed the PC version, uh, when it first came out, and killed it on console as well, uh, ran perfectly fine for me, so... I had no problems. If there was any frame dipping, it was not noticeable. So, uh, I've had no problems with anything in it. Uh, uh, actual running-wise. I do have a couple problems with the game. Um, none of them directly involve uh, it running. And uh, the problems are more so how it come about. So, if you haven't uh, haven't heard, um, this is a re <laughs> obviously a remastering of Dark Souls One. Um, and if you are playing it on PlayStation, uh, this can be an excellent way to play the game, uh, or, or Xbox doesn't have to be PlayStation, uh, because, you know, uh, this one runs much better than the, uh, at least the 360 one. I know that one's had some problems with it, so the games run beautifully for me. If you ha are, uh, planning on picking up this game on, uh, computer, or PC, uh, I would kind of, I mean, you can't buy Dark Souls 1 anymore. Uh, if I remember correctly, they removed um, the Prepare to Die edition off of Steam, which wouldn't have been a big deal. I believe they did that with uh, Bioshock as well when Bioshock was remastered, but the fact that they removed it and didn't give it free to anyone who previously owned it, uh, that's kind of where my problem comes in. Um... The fact that the remastering of it is $40 regular, 50 if you buy it on console, um, uh, $40 on Steam, and if you owned Dark Souls 1, kind of your reward is it's half off. So it's... And I'm not sure if that's going to continue forever. Um, so far, it's half off. Uh, which is kind of bad in my opinion, because it's still twenty dollars, which is a lot. When, uh, from everything I've been told about the PC version, there's nothing special about it. There's no changes having been made to this, except the game is supposed to run smoother. Um, and, uh, that's, and the password system, and that's about it. Um, graphically, 
I, I haven't played this in a while. Um, it doesn't look much better, if at all. So, it wasn't a huge leap. Uh, like, if... Uh, I, I can't really think of anything right... Oh, like Kingdom Hearts 2? <coughs> Excuse me, and then the PS4 version of it. That one seems like there's a much more noticeable... Uh, leap in graphics as opposed to this one being very <sighs> minuscule if any so that's uh, another complaint I'd have uh, there are mods for the original Dark Souls on PC if, if you already had it uh, and we're thinking maybe I need to buy this you don't need to buy it um Because the the mod ups the graphics and there's uh, there's not too I didn't have any problems when I played it back in 2013 on PC. I believe it was mostly just when the game first came out is when uh, most of the problems came about with it. This does include the DLC, which is good because if it didn't, or maybe it's only the first DLC. I don't remember if this had more than one DLC, but it comes with the uh, Artorias DLC. Um, which is good, because that would be really bad if it didn't, and they were trying to, like, charge for it again. Especially for a game that's... Uh, 2011, I think, the game came out. Um, charging for DLC on an old game would be super scummy, in my opinion. Um, so take it what you will. Uh, I've seen no problems with it but it's lacking in it for console uh absolutely a great way to pick this game up because it runs smoother uh i can't say if it looks better because i did play the pc version uh but it runs smoothly uh the fact that the password system is in it excuse me is beautiful i love uh, password systems in these type of games because it's just so much easier to find your friends in them. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm someone who's a big fan of playing these with my friends, so having that become easier is vital to any kind of purchase of one of these for me. Uh, other than that, uh, it's more... It's, it's Dark Souls. If you haven't played it, um, I mean, pick it up. It's Dark Souls. Uh, but if you already have, well, it's literally just Dark Souls again, so I don't know if I can really recommend it for a, uh, player unless it's on console, just, just because $40 for the remaster, um, on PC is pretty steep, unless you already own the game, and in which case, if you already own the game, just play the one you already own. It's uh, a little more cost-effective for you. Because I'm all about saving money for people. Because, well, I know, you know, every dollar goes to something. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this uh, quick little thoughts on it. Not too much of a review, but uh, I want to give my thoughts on the game and everything like that. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you do enjoy hearing my thoughts on games or some reviews, or you just want to listen to my voice some more, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got a bunch of different series on my channel right now. The aforementioned Kingdom Hearts is a series there on my channel. So make sure you check that out. If not, have a wonderful night, everyone, and I'll see you next time.